Well everyone, it's time for us to do a speed comparison between iOS 16 and iOS 15 on an iPhone 10. So my iOS 16 iPhone 10 is on the left, my iPhone 10 that has iOS 15 is on the right. So let's get into it, all the apps are clear on the background as you guys can tell. So let's get into it. Phone calls 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same. Music 3, 2, 1. Little tiny bit faster on my iPhone 10 on iOS 15. Let's go and get into, let's go and hop into this one. Let's do app stores 3, 2, 1. Okay, two different panels between both, so we'll just go and hop out of this one. Let's do mail, three, let's do clock, three, two, one. About this, about the same thing. Let's go and get into the settings, application, three, two, one. About the same thing too, not a big difference. Let's go and get into Apple TV, which I do not have here, three, two, one. I totally messed that one up too. I don't know why it didn't load up when I clicked it on the iOS 15 one. Let's go and, let's go and edit a podcast, three, two, one. Okay, I think the pop up was faster on iOS 16, so it's probably something to keep in mind. Books, 3, 2, 1. Two different panels between both as well, very weird. Let's go and get in their cameras, 3, 2, 1. Let's go and take a photo. Okay, let's go and open up the photo. A little bit faster on iOS 15, or iOS 16 for that matter. Let's go and open up some other apps. Let's do TikTok. Uh, let's skip that one. Let's go and do News, 3, 2, 1. Okay, iOS 15 is a little bit slower there. We have some other applications we can go and test on both. Let's do Facebook, three, two, one. Okay, iOS 15 is faster. Let's do Twitter. Let's not do Twitter, let's do Dropbox. Let's do Twitter, three, two, one. Okay, iOS 15 a little bit faster. Snap Snapchat, three, two, one. I don't know what the heck just happened there. Let's go and load it on both anyway. Temple run, two, three, two, one. Okay, looks kind of the same thing on both. I don't really think there's that big of a difference here. And we can definitely see that almost the same exact thing. So there really wasn't that big of a difference here either. Having out of this one, let's go and do Facebook, which I already did. I, I will be honest though, I think it's a very flip-floppy type of comparison. I don't really think there was a one specific winner. There were some times where I clicked on applications on both phones and they didn't really open, which is very weird. First time I've seen it happen that many times, but I do think that the iPhone 10 on iOS 15 may be a little bit more stabilized, you know, from my experience, but I think iOS 16 has actually been improved quite a bit, and at least on an iPhone 10, it's not that much slower. My iPhone 8 with the same chipsets, which is very crazy, felt much fat, much felt like there was a much bigger difference between iOS 15 and on iOS 16. So between these two phones, yes, there's a difference, but it's not quite as big of a difference as you'd expect. So I think that's probably one of the big things to keep in mind as well. So if you're going from iOS 16 to 15 or vice versa, I would highly recommend not doing it, but you are getting somewhat of a same experience, maybe a little bit faster on iOS 15, but I don't think it's a crazy big difference. So that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.